Hi, mystery friends, Sarah here. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited that it is readathon time, 24 hours of reading and hanging out with my family. <clears throat> and usually at the beginning of these, I I look a little bit more put together. I am full of energy and excitement. Excitement is still there, but I have come down with a little bit of a cold. So this readathon will be completely different from all the other readathons in that I'm going to give myself room to actually rest and like snooze throughout the day to make sure that this little thing doesn't become something bigger. But I didn't want not to get on here and say hello and get the whole party started. It starts at nine o'clock um, at our house, 9 a.m. to 9 a.m. tomorrow. Um, usually we start at 8 p.m. and from 8 p.m. to 8 p.m. But we're trying something different this year, which is good because it's all different this year since I'm already messed up from this cold that I've got. Um, but we're just going to be hanging out and reading. So how this happens, uh, what we do in our house is we have all kinds of snacks laid out. We have um, some dinner that I've <clears throat> ready for anybody to eat at any time during the day. And we've got our books all ready. And I like to start by reading some scripture first. I just, that's how I like to do it. I'm probably going to read the book of Ephesians because that's what I've been studying recently. And then when I move on, I'm going to start my whole readathon with this book, Boo by Renee Gutteridge. This is the one I'm starting the readathon with. If you want to help decide what the next book I'm going to be reading will be, you need to go to the community tab here and look for the poll. There that lists all the books that I have waiting in the wings to be read, and we'll see how many I get through. Normally, I can get through about three. I'm not the world's fastest reader, and I really like to enjoy the books as I'm reading them. So I take a little bit longer to read anyway, but now with this cold, we'll see what happens. We'll see how much I can stay awake while I'm reading and how many books I get through. So get your vote in because who knows how many I'm going to get through this time, this readathon. And this is our fifth family readathon. It's it's incredible to me that we started five years ago, that my kids were so little when we started and how big they are now. But this is like a little family vacation, staycation for us. And we get to just hang out, turn off the TV. Sometimes we'll have like some ambiance um, going. Like right now, I think we have like a fireplace going over there on the TV. But we don't watch any TV. Sometimes the kids will play video games while they're listening to an audio book. And that's that's approved as long as it's a mellow video game, like kind of like Minecraft, something that they don't have to um, get in there and get crazy with. Every once in a while, we'll play a card game in the middle of the day together um, as we're listening to an audio book as family, that kind of stuff. Maybe we'll make a coffee run in the middle of the day just for fun. But we've got plenty of snacks and tea and coffee waiting for us to begin. This are the fifth family readathon. Um, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. If you guys have been watching my channel for a while, you'll know that our readathons usually happen the weekend of Valentine's Day because that's how our family will celebrate Valentine's Day is with our readathon together. Um, but this year, it just keeps getting, it kept getting pushed back and pushed back. Things were happening. Life was busy. And now that it's been pushed back three times, now I woke up and I've got this little tiny like tickle in my throat, which is not fun. But I'm determined not to make it stop me from reading. I hope you're joining me. Let me know in the comments what you're reading. And don't forget to go to the community tab to vote on what I'm going to read. Bye.